Hi, I'm Thrifty and uh, I thought I'd make a quick fun video on uh, how easy it is to put together the engine stand. It was the cheapest on eBay and uh, I've uh, put the instructions away, haven't looked at them and I thought I'll just try putting it together. So first thing I'm going to do is put this onto here the bolts go straight through so that'll give me a base so just looking at the bolts there's uh, four skinny ones one stumpy one and four bigger ones and uh, obviously it's not going to be the thick ones so there wasn't any washers there was the spring long lock washers for that because obviously the big washers would be for the big bolts so pop them in put them in hand tight and uh, must be this one now to face forward so on this piece, I was looking for a hole for the bottom bit to go in, but it looks like it's just pressure attachment. Uh, but I did notice this. Now, I don't know if you can see, but there's a, a weld there, and then the welds have been done without gas. So that's quite a, a bodge. So, Put that piece in. I guess it's uh, this piece here. It's a bit bolted on it. So now I guess it will be the wheels. Uh, there's no uh, nuts on the inside or anything, and they're threaded. So I guess the nuts hold them on. So I'm going to put a washer on first. And slip it into the hole, put washer, spring washer, and then the bolt. Like so. Do the other side. So, on looking, I'm actually a lock washer short, so I'm just going to go and grab one. Got the second wheel on now. And, uh, got the piece that holds the engine. Multiple holes, one for the handle. I guess the spring clip for this one. Well, it's not a spring, it's just a drop pin. And the four bolts to bolt the arms on. Right, so I use the remaining washers on this side. Because with having this surface, that's definitely the weaker point. Didn't have any lock nuts or washers to the back here, or in between. So now, let's go and have a look at the instructions, and see how I did. So here's the instructions. Just in case you didn't get any. Anyway, looks like I got it right. Shows the washer and the nut on the outside. Everything else is just a little bit too vague. You can't really see if there's washers in between the wheels or anything like that. So, right, that's my construction video of my engine stand. Please remember to subscribe because I really need to get to that thousand number. I'm really impressed with this weld. How they run out of gas. All right, have a good day. Some old nuts and bolts. I thought I'd be putting uh, some in these two. 
but I found some old head bolts from the Volvo when I took them off from this engine and they go in this pole, this hole, this hole and this hole. It was uh, pretty tight because of all the paint but they freed up quite nicely. Now I'm just going to bolt on the uh, end of the engine stand. So I've got the uh, engine stand end bolted on. So uh, I've just got to lift the engine down, move the old Black & Decker workmate, put the stand in place and lift the engine up into the stand. So, there's the engine on the stand. Absolutely beautiful. So pleased with that. Lost, had to catch my breath because lifting that engine down, moving the workbench, and then getting the stand in place and then lifting the engine up off the floor and sliding it in all single handedly. Oh, anyway. Catch my breath and uh, spin it round and take that sump off. Right, please remember to subscribe. Have a good day. So, I thought I'd uh, get the old oil out. Oh, oh, I don't know. Doesn't seem to have much in it. I will have to come back to that. Wow, that is some um, black thick oil. Right, so all I gotta do now. Spin this round and then I can uh... oh, forgot about that. I'm not gonna spin him that far. because I'll put the bolts that way. So, the bolts that hold the black bits onto the black bit. Slightly too long. <coughs> Locked into place. I hope I didn't get too much uh, oil on my engine. Oh, it's uh, out, out, you get coming in on. Dog was just coming in. Don't want to tread in oil everywhere. Well, if I had some brake cleaner now, it's also filled up the uh, cartridge oil fill uh, slot as well. So, I think I've got to take this oil cooler off, clear up some of the bolts, got a pipe and the four torque bits. Torque bits are a bit full of bin. So, 
I've just uh, ordered a mobile phone cradle so I can put the mobile phone on a tripod and I've also ordered a stabiliser gimbal so I'll be able to have some more power for the phone and track my face as I move around uh, obviously I only bought Chinese Paid like three pounds for the cradle and about thirty five for the stabilizer, but that was reconditioned, not brand new. So hopefully we'll be getting some better shots, more stable. Uh, I'll be pleased with that. Uh, right, what size is that? It's probably a seven or something. For Jubilee clip. I don't know if you can hear the dog outside playing with a plastic container. For now, let's get the sun pot. Seems like five this side, four this side. sides lengths of it. Well, that's a shame. I just uh, left my Sealy impact wrench on the 10mm bolt whilst to reset the phone because it's only got a 5 minute 4k setting. Oh, that's covered in oil now. Oh, where's that cloth? Cool? 
not what you want to happen to your tools. The paints uh, help stick into the socket a bit too much. I didn't realise these are one that was in the fins on the side. Oh, that's perfect. Stuck that in there, rotated it, and off she come. She looks like. Give that a good clean. Put that inside the engine. So, looks like we've got a bit of moisture. And there we are, inside the Volvo engine. That looks pretty rank in there. Looks like the uh, mesh is in its normal place actually. And it seems a bit of paint got in down there. 